Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyFirstMagicWave.com. Um, yesterday I made a video and sent out about the USD Yen and uh, how to use my Magic IB system uh, 40 minute and 20 minute charts uh, along with my analysis, how easy it is and you know uh, step by step what need to be doing. Um, uh, here I'm going to show another pair, the same story I will show, but uh, the one I took the trade really, you know, the real trade. Uh, I want to show that that how I took the trade and uh, same story same scenario. I'll show it It's this pair is pound Aussie So that way you will know that you know exactly it, this the same thing happen in everywhere in every single Forex pair or commodities or metals or you, you name it, you know, it's in the interest rate charge bonds, you know, anything at all, okay <laughs> So you can trade uh, based on the same story. I mean you have uh, three different ways basically SNR levels highs and lows uh, Harmonic patterns and uh, Elliott wave basically okay, and harmonic patterns are nothing but Elliott wave. So you basically you have two uh, Elliott wave counts and SNR levels highs and lows. So I'm going to show only here only highs and lows and how to apply that and you know same thing I showed yesterday in yesterday's video, right? So this is a pound Aussie weekly chart. You can see I marked all these highs and lows, most of them, right? The major one. And then my target here, this chart was 17th, February 17, 2016. And this chart showing here that the trend was down. And you know, obviously it was down here, either retracement or impulse wave, doesn't matter. But the, we were making lower lows, so it's downtrend. And uh, my target was for, for fourth wave right here, uh, right around here. The first one here, second one here, break that, we'll go come to uh, like around 78% of this, maybe this low here. Okay. So uh, what happened to this chart is this. So it's keep coming down and I've been keep trading for this pair to the downside. You can trade uh, to the upside, uh, take long trades as well, but it's risky a little bit. Okay. Because overall it's coming to the downside. But this pair goes up in, in you know, uh, time to time it goes, it, it rallies around, you know, 200 pip and plus, like 200, 250, you know, you can make some, but it's risky. Uh, if you, if we were going here to the upside, then you go long, long, long only. Every dip, you go long. Here, every rally, you go short. Okay. So here you can see all, you know, we created some more uh, weekly highs and lows. Each candle represent one week, right? It's a weekly chart. So weekly high, weekly low, very, very important, and it is based on uh, GAN theory as well. So if you know what the GAN theory is, uh, seven-day breakout. So what is seven day? A week, right? Seven days makes a week, and weekly highs and lows, and as soon as that weekly high and low breaks, you go for the next target, okay? So these are these highs and lows are very important. So let's let's mark these numbers on a 40 minute chart and see what happened and then on 20 minute chart and some of those 40 minute levels as well. And then we will see that how many trades we could have got uh, gotten here uh, in this uh, this pair. So these are the numbers and this is my 40 minute chart. I already marked these lines here 89 73 88 77 88 23 uh, 85 84 and you know where these numbers are 89 73 this low 88 23 this low 83 34 and this is 88 77 86 47 and 85 84 all of these numbers are plus a couple of numbers here 88 18 and 86 76 you can see all of these numbers here 88 uh, this is uh, 86 47 76 band very close to numbers here right? 88 23 and this is 85 84 uh, I don't think I'm missing any number so these are the numbers on a 40 minute chart plus you got a couple of these uh, numbers on 40 minute highs and lows are also important okay so let's take all of these numbers and draw on 20 minute charts and see how the picture look like so this is a 20 minute chart uh, see this number here 40 minute 8733 it is from 40 minute 8733 then you have this 8584 this is the 8584 then you have 8823 do we have 8823 8823 and 18 this is a band two numbers very close by and then 8877 uh, which is this one right 
So is everything clear? This 8877 and all of those numbers. See 8877 of this candle low, 8647. This candle low, 8685. This candle low. Oh, see few candles, highs and lows. You mark on a piece of paper. And then these numbers and all of these numbers draw on a 20 minute chart. So the one I took basically it's 88 foot is 77. That's what I'm showing. Uh, if you go back, you can see even uh, 89 73. Uh, also, um, what is this number here? You see 89 73. Well, let me see on. Uh, I can't go back too much on this one, but I'll show you on a 40 minute chart. You see 89 73. This is also hit and then gave you a, a nice. Uh, tra uh, trade right you can bounce from exactly 85 84 so these are the numbers 85 84 we bounce we went up to 89 73 then dropping again simple as that right I'm messing up that th uh, those numbers basically from here and here right we came down here we went up so this was the high that you went up there and hit 88 77 and start giving me a short setup and i took it from here and all the way down 285 84 was my target which is 85 84 which is the low of this yellow candle and now we have next one but you know that's if we drop again because we bounce from there right so 85 84 was and based on the daily range as well it's very important to watch the daily range you don't want to cross the daily range. Daily range means that uh, how much a pair uh, travels in one day. And this is the indicator that tells you how much is the day, uh, daily range. So, for example, here the current day range was 120, means 120 something. Uh, average 60 day range. Let me move my name here. See, this says average 60 day range is 220. 22 means a zero uh, is uh, not showing here some some wrong with this indicator so it is like 220 some average 60 day range 60 day daily range means this pair travels 220 plus pips a day so uh, that's why you are supposed to have a target and then cash out there uh, you, you know don't make a target of 300 pip for one day. Uh, once the daily range is finished the pair stops usually okay so this is what happened here um all right so let's let me show you what happened on 20 minute chart this was i i have a shrink but this is the ideal um uh, setup what is the setup the setup is this indicator and this when this indicator is turning from the upside to the downside and after the blue candle hit uh, snr level give you a black candle and a red candle the second red candle you take a short simple as that that means that we are making a turn it is confirmed see the same thing happened here but there was no level or anything here okay at that uh, uh, some, uh, here was on four, uh, april 6th and this period is for probably the next day seventh so this is not the correct one right so you have to see that if it is going to the upside where what is the next level according to the range indicator and then uh, once you have a reversal set up there, you can take it. So this is the first one. We came down here. We went up. We came down again and all the way to this this number here. And this is a 40-minute level. It's 87.33. You can see right here. This is the number, 87.33. You cannot see here with the bounce, but uh, you can see on a 20-minute chart. So you have, have it marked. It bounced here. It went up to where? Again, the same story. It went up to this area, 88.23. Where is 88.23? 88.23 is this line. You see this? It bounced from here and went up on a weekly chart. Where is it? 88.23. This one. So we drop here. You cannot see nothing here. It's just because you have no idea what's happening. It's just all we can see is that. But 88.23, we went up, we tested it, and then drop again. There was another trade easily taken from here after this candle, right? Either this this one or this one, right? Uh, it never uh, went up and uh, took your SL. 
so this was a short and after that again we bounce from here and this is a by the book short again short entry right and then this one again a short entry you can see by the book entry so these are the entries and it, these three or four entries that take you uh, all the way to your target age 584 this is how simple it is it's step by step if you know exactly you know just draw these lines highs and lows and you will have a clear picture what to do look at the pair is, is it traveling uh, you know uh, short or long right? the trend is what making higher highs or lower lows okay and uh, just draw these lines and wait for a rally uh, to go short wait for a rally to a level give you a short setup take it and uh, just the opposite and, and the trade I took from this one, this high here, and then after that, let me show you exactly. This is 88.77, right? And this was, you can see this one, and I posted this a long time ago on my website. You can see it. This is 88.77. You see this? As soon as this black candle, I had to shrink it to cover this whole thing. So after the black candle, red candle, and the second red candle, I opened my trade. Sell. Right? This is my sell. And then after that, I didn't have to do anything. Because, you know, I knew that it's going to go down to where. So once you know, once you learn everything, and this is, you know, I'm talking about 250 pips in one, a day, one, one or two days. Okay? Uh, similarly, uh, there was another several pair, but this is a, another chart that, you know, same scenario, same strategy. When the price dropped, it bounced. It, I was expecting a you know, up, even though this pair also, it was uh, dropping. But I took a long to a very strong level, and the bounce was imminent. So uh, once you know that, you can take a, a long entry, and this was an entry, this was an entry, this was an entry, and it gone. Right? And this was, you know, I closed it from probably like 85, 89 pips, something like that. Uh, how it is easy no big deal uh, just a matter of understanding and learning that way the, the beauty is that you will know exactly this way that what is really happening which is the next level this pair is gonna go uh, which level we need to uh, break to go to the next level if we are coming to the downside so now 9173 Eight was the key level. We bounced from there. We broke it, and then coming down to eighty-eight twenty-three, and then you know uh, coming down even further. Uh, right now we are eighty-five something. We bounce, but then hopefully next week when the week starts, we will see if we just keep coming down. Um, same story that you know when the market opens up, you will look for um, you know daily open. Uh, Frank, uh, daily open line. If the you know, see right here, see day opens up here the next day. We drop, we went, you know, you got a nice setup here, and be below the pivot and below the daily open line. Beautiful, beautiful setup. You cannot beat this. Just a yellow touch and then psh, drop. And after that, this is also very, very good. Nice setup. Look at this indicator all the way on the top. This is coming down as soon as you have a red candle start showing up. You trade. And hundreds of pips. Okay, so this is how it is. I uh, just wanted to show you, and you know, it's like a confirmation which I showed you yesterday that it's not only USD yen, it is every single pair. Wherever you look, you, you will see the same story. You can apply the same principle, just get weekly highs and lows, draw, and then 40 minute chart highs and lows, the you know, relevant one uh, close to the PA, and then you will see amazing entries in those areas. Just take them when the uh, volume time comes, you know, Frankfurt uh, open and London open. Just be ready. You will see, you know, if you miss this one, you will see this one, you know, from here to here, from 87.33 to 85.84, 86.87, you know, 150 pip, easy, no big deal, right? So this is how it is. Um, uh, if you like what you saw, you know, um, just go on my website, subscribe and be a part of it, learn. Uh, you know, in, in a couple of months, you will learn everything. You know, I got recordings, uh, hundreds of recordings on my website. Plus, I do live webinar all the time. So you will learn this and, you know, master the, uh, you know, technique. And uh, uh, this will exactly what you are doing. You will know that what's happening, you know.
so this is it and uh, do me a favor if you like the video please you know uh, press the like button <laughs> okay and subscribe my channel so i'll be you know sending more and more videos and you will learn more and more okay so this is it for now thanks for watching have a great great day